How you doing? Charles St. James back to you again. Um, I just got done with my um, workout the day after Thanksgiving and uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the metabolism and once again try to dispel some of the, uh, the rumors and things that are out there regarding uh, the met metabolism and things like that and just to give you guys some insight on the uh, marketing tactics that various uh, companies use. Now a lot of times you hear, um, you hear uh, companies in, in magazines read about anabolic um, you know, something is anabolic. It's anabolic. It can do this. It can do that. Um, well, what anabolic um, means is basically uh, muscle building. Now, let me let me explain to you what that means. Um, the metabolism has two different phases to it. It has the anabolic phase and the catabolic phase. Both of those are very important. Now, what the anabolic phase does is it's responsible for building up the body because periodically every part of your body has to be replaced. Um, all the cells and everything that you have, those cells pass away and they have to be replenished. Um, the replenishment process, that's the anabolic phase, all your muscles and things like that. And based on how you work out and how you eat, one phase can be um, more dominant than the other. Now, what's also part of the anabolic phase is, um, is um, uh, if you eat too much and you don't use all those calories and things like that that you consume, well, the anabolic phase is also responsible for that. So what's going to happen is, you, is you're basically going to get fat. Um, so the anabolic phase is more than just muscle building. It's responsible for basically rebuilding and adding to the body. That's what the anabolic phase does. Um, and without that, the body would be basically incomplete. Now, there's another phase. It's called the catabolic phase. The catabolic phase is the um, is a tear down process of the body. Once again, when a cell becomes old, it must be torn down and replaced uh, with a new cell. A cell has to take its place. Um, muscles periodically uh, have to be interchanged. By interchanged, I mean the muscle fibers and things like that uh, that you have, breaking it down to the, uh, to the smallest level, those cells and things like that, they die and they have to be replaced by other cells. So uh, that's the catabolic phase, the teardown phase. Now, also in the catabolic phase is going to be uh, fat loss and things like that. So if you don't eat enough calories, um, or if, you know, let's say your goal is to trim down and lose body fat and things like that, you can put yourself in a catabolic state by um, not eating so many calories and also um, working out a little bit more, burning some uh, extra calories. So um, between those two phases right there, based on what your fitness goal is, it's important to let one phase be more dominant than the other. Now, the uh, anabolic phase and the catabolic phase um, it's good not to be in one of those for too long because what's going to happen is, is your metabolism is going to uh, catch on to what you're doing and your metabolism is going to reset itself. So um, if you want to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to gain weight or if you want to gain muscle mass, my suggestion to you is this: um, about five days a week, eat a little bit more um, than you should be eating. Um, eat a little bit more uh, healthy proteins, um, complex carbohydrates, and things like that. By eating a little bit more, you're going to help your body to ensure that you'll be in that anabolic phase or the building phase. Now, I say the reverse is true if you want to um, lose body fat. For that right there, I suggest, um, uh, once again, uh, five days a week or so, uh, eat a little bit less than your body is, uh, is um, used to uh, taking in and, and burn off a few extra calories through uh, exercise. So, for me personally, this is the technique that I'm using right now. Monday and Tuesday, I'm eating... Um, less calories than I um, than I usually do because I want to be in the uh, catabolic phase. Wednesday, I eat normal calories so my metabolism doesn't catch on to what I'm doing. Then Thursday and Friday, I'll take it uh, a low again. But once again, it's the day after Thanksgiving. So obviously, Thanksgiving is a, is a time when you um, eat, eat a little bit more than, um, than you normally do. Um, so on Thursday and Friday, I'll take it a little bit low. Then on Saturday, I might cheat a little bit then, and on Sunday, I'll take it normal again. So four days a week, I'm eating less calories than my body is actually um, uh, burning off. So that's putting me in a catabolic, catabolic state. Um, that's something that you can apply to your own body and to your own life, and that'll help you uh, achieve your fitness goals. So once again, think the anabolic phase and the catabolic phase. Once again, I'm Charles St. James, ISSA Certified Fitness Trainer.